Hi Stampin' Friends, it's Chris Slogar from BuckeyeInklings.com and I have the second um, project from last night's Facebook Live here. It is a buckle card and I also made it with the Pleased as Punch designer paper and then this great celebration set, Rise and Shine, that's free with a $100 purchase. And I forgot to say in the last video, if you're watching them both, the dies that go with this set to uh, cut out the... The mugs are still available. They are the cup of cheer dies and they're available online. So um, just so you know, those might be kind of hard to find too. Like I was talking about the paper, that's just online. All right, so you may remember, and just as a reminder, you can do this in uh, the other orientation too. So I did these in December and I've been meaning to film a YouTube video uh, to show this buckle card. Uh, same idea and done the other way depending on, you know, what you want your card to look like. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I can link you back to the information from those cards too. But we'll make this one today. It starts with a base of granny apple green that measures four and a quarter by 10. Okay, and the inside whisper white panel, I've trimmed with a piece of that designer paper. And this is one of the things I love about these buckle cards. This is a great way to show off a couple of coordinating patterns and it's not fussy at all. There's just a little strip here and then the front is covered with one. And of course they look great together, right? Because we coordinate so well with our papers. So I'm just adding that one inch strip to the side of the insert piece. Now, the buckle section or the belt section, I guess, needs to be attached to the base before you attach that. So just set that aside for a second. And what I'm gonna do is take my classic label punch and what you can't see here, it's under here, it's like a little slot that this strip fits in. Uh, I'm going to punch that with the classic label punch. So I'm just picking a location here, uh, a little lower than halfway. I'm pushing the punch all the way in and I'm punching. Now, I did that before I added the designer paper because I really try hard, if I can help it, I try not to punch through more than one layer of our thick cardstock at a time with our punches. Um, you know, sometimes you can't help it, but when you can, uh, that that just um, is is better for your punches. I, I have ruined a punch by punching through two layers of our cardstock at one time because it is so heavy. Okay, so I'm applying adhesive just to the kind of perimeter of this designer paper piece. This measures four by four and a quarter. Uh, and I'm applying that. I didn't want to have adhesive, you know, right there where the, the slot is. So I tried to avoid that area. And then I'm just going to open up the card and punch through that. And of course you can see right where you need to punch. All right, and at this point, I want to make sure to get this um, belt piece or buckle piece attached. This is two by four and a quarter and it's scored at one inch here. Okay, and that one inch section, okay, so this will fit in the slot and then the edge here, I'm going to align with the edge of the card. So let me just put some glue. I like to do this with the Tombow glue so I can slip that to where I want it. I've got the location defined by where the slot is, so I'm going to um, keep that end tucked in there. And then I'm just going to align that folded edge with the edge of the card and slide it if I need to to make sure it's centered in the slot. Okay, now this is a pretty wide strip. You could you could use a less wide strip. You. The maximum width here should be two inches, but I used a, a skinnier one here so that it wasn't it wasn't quite so close to the width of that punch. Okay, so anyway, like I said, this one is two by four and a quarter scored at one. And then I have a little white piece here that measures 
one and three quarters by two and a half, and I'm going to stamp my greeting on it. Make today amazing uh, in Night of Navy. And I'll let that dry a second. Okay, so I stamped that piece in Night of Navy. Sorry for the little interruption there. I had a little problem with my cell phone. Uh, but what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open this up and we can add that insert piece now and we'll be covering up this, um, this edge of the Coastal Cabana flap, okay? So I'm just going to apply some adhesive here to pick up this, um, the piece we had prepared for the insert. Okay, and I'm putting that down, just centering it there on the inner panel. And that way, this is nice and clean over here. And when you close the card, buckles like so, and we can add this little stamped piece to the outside now. Okay, and then all that's left is to add that decorative piece. Now, I kind of cover up, I, I place this, this assembly of the cup just to the edge of this slot so that it kind of hides uh, what's going on under there. Here, I've got one of these scalloped uh, rectangles, the scallop stitch rectangle. This one measures about two by three and a quarter. So you could also have a square here. I've already prepared my cup. Um, I'm just gonna take some of the steam and stamp it here on the Daffodil Delight piece with gray granite. And then I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of the cup here and pop that up. I've got a glimmer dot and a little twine bow there. I'll put that in place. And then I just need to put the entire thing along this edge. So I'm going to use dimensionals right along that slot. And that way that'll make it easy for my buckle piece, you know, to, to get under there. And I'm just going to kind of locate this, like I said, just past that white edge and like so. Okay, so there you have it, and your little strap can go in to the buckle, and it's all hidden behind the cup piece. So just a fun little um, card and a great way to use your designer paper that coordinates. All right, thanks, guys. If you need more ideas, visit me at BuckeyeInklings.com. Have a great day.